What's going on guys, Crazy here, welcome back to your daily Cyberpunk 2077 news and gameplay today. Let's jump right in because we have some really interesting details right now. Of course, so CD Projekt Red coming in fresh with an official response to that um, exploit that we talked about in yesterday's video regarding um, the custom saves slash mods. Yes, that is uh, something that currently can affect people's playthroughs. Um, then we have some really amazing mods that I do want to cover here in this video because because it seems that the modding scene has just created history and some of these mods that I will show you here in this video can completely change the way you play the game. So as always if you enjoyed this video at any point it would be super awesome if you left a like on it or not it's your choice and let's jump right into it. But starting things off with the announcement right here if you plan to use cyberpunk mods slash custom saves especially on the PC version use caution. We've been made aware of a vulnerability in external DLL files the game uses which can can be used to execute codes on PCs. Issue will be fixed ASAP. For now, please refrain from using files from unknown sources. Now, we did talk about this briefly in yesterday's video, but long story short, um, there's currently an exploit in the game files where people can use mods or even custom saves to run code remotely on your PC installation and even take full control over your PC without you even knowing. So, um, you either have two options, either use um, the game engine tweaks that already implements a fix for that, assuming that you're still planning to use mods or simply remove all the mods until CD Projekt Red comes in with a hotfix, which um, according to the news right here should be happening any day now. So hopefully by tomorrow we will get a patch hotfix for that. But in the meantime, I do want to talk about some really interesting mods that are likely going to change history for the modding scene because they finally add some really interesting details to the gameplay loop. And to be more specific, there's three of them that can change that quite a bit. The first one is called survival mode, which is currently in beta and yes, as you've guessed it, it kind of turns Cyberpunk 2077 in a survival game where you have to take care of, um, well, what you eat and what you drink. Then there's a second one that adds quests in the game randomly generated. Um, these can fall into three categories as we will talk about in just a little bit. And finally, this was uh, probably my most requested feature when it comes to hacking and that is the fact that um, you can now hack everyone with the mod called Hack everyone. So um, let's get started with the first one with the survival mode because this is quite an interesting one. So um, this mod introduces a food and a drink system based on survival modes as um, you probably saw in other games. But once you get this mod installed you will notice that there's two additional bars that you need to pay attention to and these are the nutrition and the hydration levels on the left side of your screen and basically they indicate exactly what it means. You need to pay attention to your food and your your water intake which is really easy all you need to do is to head over in your inventory and if your levels are too low just eat something and also drink something and these will replenish your levels which actually sounds really interesting this kind of begs the question do you want to see a nutrition or survival kind of mode in cyberpunk 2077 uh, maybe if we pressure CD project right enough they might introduce a fifth difficulty for us which would be this survival mode of course as I've said this is currently in beta and the mod author is planning to expand upon this so I'm really curious to see where this brings us because yeah I would definitely be interested in a nutrition slash survival mode. Moving on to the second one this is called the quest mod and it does exactly that. According to the mod author it adds about 120 quests for now all um, seem to be automatically generated and for now they fall into three separate categories. So these are the kill contract, the escort contract and the explore one. The first two are pretty self-explanatory. For the kill contract you just have to go to a specific location, kill your target and then escape without dying and you're going to get some really nice sum of money over there for now. Um, the escort kind of takes you to a different location where you have to escort certain characters. I'm pretty sure that the the first one is always going to be Judy, so you get additional ways to interact with these characters out in the world. Now to use this, it's pretty simple, you're going to get a brand new screen that pretty much lets you select any of these three contracts or even abandon the current existing ones. And 
Now, currently we have only about 120 as I've said, but the mod author has mentioned that they are hoping for at least a thousand eventually. And also a big plan right now is to add a quest marker since that is greatly needed. Right now, the navigation is pretty much done through coordinates, which is extremely difficult to navigate because yeah there is a bunch of coordinates and the map is pretty big in order to do that so hopefully in the next few days or maybe a week we will get that nailed down as well which finally brings us to my favorite on today's list the hack everyone um, mod right here that does exactly that it finally enables quick hacking against every single type of character in the game yes including npcs and yes including children as well now the mod is a work in progress so there might still be bugs or issues but it does raise a really interesting question you have so many civilians so many policemen surely there's at least a part of them that do have some sort of cyberware implants that you can exploit and quick hack right well that is totally possible within the game's lore but the game just doesn't give you that option in the first place so this one does that for every single type of um, enemy or character in the game now for regular citizens you're going to notice that every now and then you can find an npc that can be hacked into and yes you can even cast something like suicide um, reset system or maybe just overheat or drop grenade it totally works by the way sometimes it has some hiccups but like 9 times out of 10 from what I've tested it does work pretty well the only problem is when that civilian might be doing a different kind of action at the same time so taking a picture for example or um, just standing in a different kind of pose yeah maybe then it's not going to work but usually it works even the contagion works on them really well um, it's even better because it works against police forces so if you want to go against a trauma team against some of the other net runner or even more so against some of the police officers it's totally possible to even turn them into cyber psychos and make them your own allies to attack their bodies instead when by the way it totally works against children as well if you were in the mood of just punishing a few here and there um yes it works sometimes it might glitch out like they might t-pose and whatnot but usually it works pretty well and yes you can finally um, punish those pesky children that normally are kind of immune to everything but this is it with update from CD Projekt Red and with these amazing mods of course we should see the update 1.2 happening sometimes this month again I will keep you guys updated but just keep in mind that update 1.2 is supposed to be a bit bigger than the one that was 1.1 so hopefully we will get something a bit more substantial as well in the meantime thanks so much for watching as always, if you enjoyed this video at any point, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.